Hello students, I am Teacher Ka and welcome to our online learning class. Today, we are going to learn vocabulary words and improving reading comprehension. Are you ready to read? Let's go! Words that you need to know. Listen and repeat after me. Are you ready? Let's go! Decision. Satisfied. Predictions, expect, enjoyed, judgments. Well done, students. Now, let's practice. Match each word with its correct meaning. Number one, decision. Well done, students. It's letter D. Let's move on to number two, satisfied. What do you think is the meaning of the word? Good job, it's letter A. Let's move on to number three, predictions. Awesome, it's letter E. Number four, expect. Great job, it's letter C. Number five, enjoyed. You're right, it's letter B. Number six, judgments. Awesome! It's letter F. Well done, students. Now, we will listen to the audio. Please listen carefully to know the correct pronunciation of the important words. Let's go! Unit, Unit 9, nine part, part 2. two. Happy, happy people. Why do some people seem to be happier than others? Researchers interviewed thousands of people to try to find the answer. They discovered that what makes us happy is often not what we expect. One important factor, say the researchers, is people's attitude toward life. Many people seem to be happy with their lives even when they don't seem to have very much to be happy about. People with a positive attitude may still be happy even after bad events. In contrast, Many people who seem to have all the good things in life, health, money, family, are still unhappy. Someone who has a negative attitude toward life may still be unhappy even if good things happen to them. For example, one study found that lottery winners don't end up any happier than other people. Another factor is the activities we do. Happy people spend most of their time doing satisfying activities. People are most satisfied when they do work or hobbies they enjoy and feel they are good at. This doesn't mean people have to be very successful by society's standards. For example, a successful company director may not be happy. She might secretly wish she could just work on her garden all day. Unhappy people are more likely to judge themselves against other people, say researchers. People who are not happy feel that they don't have enough of the good things in life. In contrast, happy people don't judge themselves by what other people have. Happy people set their own goals. They decide what they think is important in life. A further factor is the time we spend with other people. The researchers found that happy people are sociable people. They spend a lot of their time with other people in social situations. They live a busy and full social life. They spend time with people at work, in school, in clubs, with their friends and family members. In contrast, people who spend a lot of time alone are more likely to be unhappy. A good relationship with a partner is also an important factor. The better that relationship is, the happier a person is. 
The research shows many of us are not good at predicting what will make us happy. We might think that winning the lottery is the answer. In fact, the real answer lies closer to home, in our own attitude, our friends and family, and our everyday activities. Now you can take time to read and record your reading time. You can use a smartphone or a stopwatch to record your time. Happy reading! Moving on, let's practice your reading comprehension. You can answer this on your own. Have fun! That ends our lesson for today. Thank you, students, for joining me. See you on our next fun lesson and activity. Stay safe and be healthy. Good luck, students. Bye!